Hi there, I'm Peter Vox, and welcome to another episode of Ask Vox Singing Academy. If you like this channel, please click like and subscribe to keep up with all of our videos. And if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing or your singing, we would be absolutely honored. So please click the links below and check them out for more info. Now today I'm gonna to be explaining professional proper singing diaphragmatic breathing. Now I was actually going to be shoot, this video was actually gonna be uh, an unlisted video that I was going to um, just release amongst my staff so that they could always refer back to this, but I thought that it'd be really good that I also release it to the public, so I'm gonna release this to the public and also to my staff as well too. So I'm gonna go over professional proper diaphragmatic breathing. This is gonna teach everyone how to breathe properly. First and foremost, you want to get a size three basketball. Once you've got this size three basketball, you want to mark out the inside of your ribs. So I'm going to come up pretty close here. So as you can see, you can see I'm pushing on the inside of my ribs. So that's the inside of my rib cage, right there like that. Because this is really, really freaking important because this is where the ball's going to go. The ball has to go right in here like this. Can you see where the ball is right here? Okay, I'm pushing it and you can see it going on the inside of my ribs because that's where you're gonna be laying when you're laying on the ball. The ball has to be here, right in this spot. Reason being is your diaphragm is there. Your diaphragm sits underneath your lungs. It's a muscle that basically lifts, lifts your lungs up and down, enables you to breathe. Yes, this is where you breathe from, not your pectoral muscles. Your pectoral muscles don't pull your chest up and you breathe. That is incorrect, your diaphragm enables you to breathe. If you um, Google this, if you'll see anyone that's got a ruptured diaphragm, they can't breathe anymore. They're on a special machine that makes them breathe. So this ball exercise is to do two things. One, it is to heighten your mind that 90% of your lungs are down here. If you have had the unpleasant situation of being punched or kicked in the diaphragm, you would have been winded, all the air would have been knocked out of you, and that would have proven to you that 90% of your lungs are down here. Your lungs are blade-shaped. Have a look at a, 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 a bedabra or an anatomy, and you'll see that they're blade-shaped. They're bigger down here than what they are at the top. They're also going to expand your lower lung capacity. So instead of going out and jogging for miles and miles and expanding your lungs like this, this will naturally expand. You're going to feel that you can get more air into the right place of your lungs, which is down low here, okay? So really important that this ball is going to be placed in the right place when you're laying on the ball. You're going to lay on the ball between 10 to 30 seconds. When you're laying on the ball, please breathe out all of your air. You want to be feeling a heartbeat or a pulse in the ball. Yes, breathe out all your air. Try not to breathe air in when you're laying on the ball. Relax when you're on the ball. Breathe all your air out. Try to feel a heartbeat the pulse this is not going to feel nice it's going to be it will feel like you're being winded uh, please don't do this after you've eaten it's not going to be a good idea unless you want to uh, see what you've just eaten come back up so we're going to be laying on the ball right now you will be laying on the ball between 10 to 30 seconds when you get up off the ball you want to go sideways into the mirror okay and you want to pop a hand on your stomach a hand on your chest and the first week you wanna just breathe solely through your diaphragm. So after you get off the ball, you're gonna feel stretched out and loosened. Okay, this area's gonna feel great. You can nearly let your stomach just fall out. And you'll be breathing like this. My top hand is not gonna move. Watch this. As we breathe air in, you're gonna stick your stomach out. As you breathe air out, you're gonna pull your stomach in and be skinny. So watch what I'm gonna be doing. You're gonna do this after you get off the ball. Watch my lower hand. Breathing air in, my stomach sticking out. Breathing air out, stomach skinny. Breathing air in, sticking the stomach out. Breathing air out, stomach skinny. This is called a singer's proper diaphragmatic breath. Did you see that my top hand wasn't moving? Fantastic, I want you to do the same thing. Top hand shouldn't move, so I'm gonna just show you again. Diaphragmatic breath, stick your stomach out. As you breathe air into this area, just don't stick your stomach out for the sake of it. Breathe air out, stomach goes in. Okay, I'm going to jump on the ball now, so you're going to see what I'm going to be doing with the ball. This t-shirt is proudly brought to you by Dead Letter Circus. Thank you very much, Kim, for the, uh, the free merchandise. Really appreciate it. Okay, guys, so you want to jump on the ground. You want to make sure the ball's going to be right in the V. So have a, have a look at me. Arms and shoulders are taking all your weight. Ball's right in the V. 
in the V of the ribs, not up on the sternum. The ball is pushing on the inside of my ribs. Breathe out all of your air and relax on the ball. Breathe out all your air. Don't breathe air in. Don't breathe while you're on the ball. Breathe out all of your air. Just relax. Stop looking at my butt. Just relax. Breathe out all your air. And if you're doing this, you should be, uh, should be feeling a heartbeat or a pulse on the ball. 10 to 30 seconds. Now, as you see, I'm going to roll off this ball very slowly. So you're going to see where the ball is. Right here, right in the V of the ribs. That's where it's at. Okay, let's do some diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, so now, we've just laid on the ball between 10 to 30 seconds. This area feels stretched and loosened out. Look sideways into the mirror. Watch yourself. We want to stick your stomach out as you breathe air in. As you breathe air out, pull it in skinny. As you breathe air out, sticks out. See my top hand's not doing anything. Breathe it all out. This is called a singer's proper diaphragmatic breath. This is very, very important. What we want to do is we want to practice that for a week because that's your most important breath that you basically want to be doing. On your second week, what we want to be doing then is we want to be doing the same breath. Now this is called an 80% singer's diaphragmatic breath. So what I'm doing here is 80% full. And then we're going to fill the bronchi tube up. That's the tube that takes the air down to your lungs with 10%. Yes, this is 90% full, not 100%. We never want to be, this is not going to be any good. Okay, we can't sing like that when we're that full. So, we want to take a 90% full breath, comfortably full breath, in one breath. 80% down in the diaphragm, 10% through the bronchial tube. Watch me, 80% through my diaphragm, 10% through my bronchial tube. Stick it out. As you breathe air in, stick it out as you breathe air out. I'll pull it in as you breathe air out. Sorry, reverse that. Stick it out as you breathe air in. Pull it in as you breathe air out. We can see my top hand's only moving 10%. If I was a giant and doing this in large, it's like this. Okay, so that there is called a singer's proper diaphragmatic breath, okay? 80% down low. 10% up top. Now, I'm going to go over the science of breathing because we want to incorporate this into your songs. Now, the science of breathing is going to teach you and tell you how to apply breathing into every single song. High, low, fast, slow, clean, dirty. Now, I'm going to do this with the Beatles song, Help. Okay. Now, the rule with singing is you can only take a proper diaphragmatic breath when you have time. You know, generally we only have time when we're singing songs live up on stage at the start of a verse, start of a pre-chorus, start of a chorus, or start of a bridge, or when you have time. But generally, all the other times, which is 90% of the time, you're going to be just topping up what you've just sung in the last phrase. So I'm going to reiterate that again. Only 10 to 20% of your breathing up on stage will be through the diaphragm. Your other 80 to 90% is going to be through the bronchial tube, topping up what you've just used. I'm going to give you an example, an example here of help by the Beatles. I love the Beatles. When I put my hand on my diaphragm, it means I'm taking a proper diaphragmatic breath. That's showing you that I'm taking a proper diaphragmatic breath. When I do this, it means I'm topping up what I've just used, and my diaphragm is still full, putting the right amount of breath pressure underneath my vocal cords all the time through the whole song, but I'm only taking a proper diaphragmatic breath when I have time, which is at the start of the verse and start of the chorus. The rest of the time, I'm topping up what I've just used. Okay, watch me here, okay? <clears throat> when I was younger, so much younger than today, never needed anybody's help in any way. And now these days are gone and I'm not so self-assured Now I find I changed my mind, I've opened up the doors Help me if you can, I'm feeling down 
And I do appreciate you being around Help me get my feet back on the ground Won't you please, please help me And back into the verse and now my life is changing all so many ways My indie on and on to the end of the song So I hope that that explains how to incorporate proper diaphragmatic breathing into a song If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can If we could help you out with your breathing or your singing, please check out the links We'd be honored to help you out with your singing Thank you so much for watching. Be good to each other and enjoy your singing and have fun singing. Peace and out. Much love. Bye-bye.